Well, hello and welcome to the pandemies. Wow, it's great to finally see people again. Thank you for risking everything to be here. Thank me for risking everything to be here. You know what they say, you can't have a virus without a host. Jimmy Kimmel kicked off the 2020 Emmys on Sunday amid the coronavirus pandemic with sarcasm, humor, and a fake audience. Why would you have an award show in the middle of a pandemic? No, seriously, I'm asking, why are we having an award show in the middle of a pandemic? <laughs> and what the hell am I doing here? This is the year they decide they have to have a host? Yeah, if you, like me, are totally triggered by a large crowd of people sans masks, fear not. That footage of Hollywood's A-listers sitting close AF actually comes from Emmy's past. Of course I'm here all alone. Of course we don't have an audience. This isn't a MAGA rally, it's the Emmys. Yeah, he went there. But while Jimmy had a little TV magic at his fingertips, he took full advantage. Let's have a standing ovation for me. Well played, Jimmy. Well played. But back to that question. Why have an award show now, in the middle of a global pandemic? My God, do we need fun. This has been a miserable year. This has been a year of uh, division, injustice, disease, Zoom school, disaster, and death. We've been quarantined and locked down. We've been confined to our homes like prisoners in a dark and lonely tunnel. And what did we find in that dark and lonely tunnel? I'll tell you what we found, a friend who's there for us 24 hours a day, our old pal television. The 52-year-old late night host explained how the evening would work after first taking a little hand sanitizer perched on top of what else? An Emmy Award. Instead of bringing the nominees to us, we went to them. We have live feeds to and from more than 100 locations around the world. And these are tonight's nominees. Hello, everybody. Congratulations. Yeah, that right there is a giant screen with all the night's nominees who were ready and standing by to be fed into the show for each award. What could possibly go right? Wild, right? It's a massive undertaking. Leading up to the big show, Jimmy opened up about how they planned on pulling it all off. Because we can't really rely on people operating their equipment at home, we are sending out these packages, these like video packages. It's a box and it has a camera in it. It will connect you right to the Emmys. And I guess the hope is that after the Emmys, people will send this stuff back. I don't know. I don't think I would. If I won, I would send it back. If, if I didn't win, I would keep it. That would be my award for the night. Of course, this year's unusual ceremony broadcasts live from the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, instead of the Emmy's usual home in the nearby Microsoft Theater. We are shooting at Staples Center because it's the biggest possible venue, so we want to space the few people that will be there out as much as possible. As for Jimmy, he was just excited to work his jokes on that faux crowd. For me, I love writing the monologue jokes. That's the most fun part about it. My motto uh, during my talk show is 90% is fine. Uh, in this case, we want to give somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 98 to sometimes even up to 